but getting closer and closer to the NBA Finals. And not to disrespect the Denver Nuggets, not to disrespect the Boston Celtics, but it's looking pretty much damn over at this point. So I got to ask you, even though the Lakers are the super heavy, heavy favorites, out of 10, best out of 10, 10 being the toughest and, you know, one being the least or zero being the least, how much of a chance do you think Miami has against the Lakers on the biggest stage in the world? I think it's pretty damn good. Because Def- defensively, they can match up with anybody that they that they really throw. You know what I mean? Jay Crowder on LeBron, I like my chances. Andre Iguodala on LeBron, I like my chances. Jimmy Butler on LeBron, I like my chances. You know what I mean? The other the, the problem I really think they're gonna have is A D, but I really like my chances with Bam on A D too. So if 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 you really defensively, I'm not worried. Offensively, that's when I'm gonna be a little worried. You know what I mean? Because if LeBron actually ramps it up and starts to try to get into that, you know, takeover mode, I want to know who's going to counteract it on the other side. Like, who's going to put on that 30, that 20, that 40 that, that could counteract it? And then, and, that, and that's what I'm really worried about. But I I can see Jimmy doing it on some nights, but the, Jimmy's been taking a lot of nights off if you look at these playoffs. He's not going to be able to do that against the Lakers. He's going to have to be the star, Jimmy. Yeah, I I thought those were all some really, really excellent points. Pretty damn good points, if you ask me. But I I agree with you. I actually think if you you remember back when the Dallas Mavericks beat the Miami Heat in that big upset back in 2011, one of the reasons why they were successful to do in that and, and was able to pull that off was because the Mavericks, that Mavericks team then was playing a zone defense too because they they were daring LeBron and Wade and those guys who aren't knocked down three-point shooters to beat them from the outside by playing the zone. And oddly enough, the Miami Heat have perfected a zone and you don't you don't see that style of defense played a lot and it's a good style of defense against teams that don't have that much great shooters the lakers made it this far and i, I props to them they've handled their business but they still have a lot of inconsistent shooters on their roster so i really think i really think miami could exploit that and like you pointed out you got jay crowder you got jimmy butler you got andre igudala you got bodies. You got guys that are strong and physical that could bomb the shots. I understand why you're you're a little bit worried offensively. I have a little bit of those worries too. But at the end of the day, I don't because they have a system that they could rely upon, and they don't really give a damn who's the the team leader in points. But it's it's a it's a tricky situation. It's a it's an unpredictable situation that I think favors them a lot. I do think when push comes to shove, Jimmy Butler will step up. I I don't know if he'll he'll, he'll drop, you know, 35 a game, but I believe he's hungry and if he finally gets a taste of the finals, he's going to leave it all on the court because that's the type of play he is. And I do think he'll step up and be that lead scorer to, to match LeBron on the perimeter when they need him to be. But at the end of the day, even on the games where he he might not be able to, the fact that they're so unpredictable and they're willing to let Tyler Hero go off Mm -hmm. or Duncan Robinson will go off or Mm -hmm. let Olenek maybe get some shots up. He hasn't been playing heavy minutes, but they got shooters like him and Josh. I think that because the Lakers won't know who to focus on quite enough. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm glad you you mentioned that too because that... That's the type of things that does win team championships. When those other guys could just come in out of nowhere and give you that, give you that nice spark, give you that nice big shot, give you that nice, you know, defensive play. Miami has a lot of that. They have a, a whole bunch of that. Like, and, 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 and that's one thing that I see the Lakers don't have. That, yeah. That 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 that, that, guy, that that other dude, that Derek Fisher type guy, that. That you know, John Paxson type guy, Steve Kerr type guy, 
you know, who's going to just be key for you in those uh, moments where you need the key. You know, uh, it, it, Lakers, I don't, I really don't see it. I see it a little bit with Rondo. I'm not going to dismiss yeah. Rondo totally. Uh, but at the end of the day, Rondo's not going to hit that key shot for you. No, no. And, 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 and I need to see somebody who is going to do that. And I don't see it right now for the Lakers. But at the end of the day, in the finals, LeBron's known for just going animal, animal mode. And I need to see someone on my Miami be the animal. So, so give me a number. Best out of 10, what number would you give the Heat for their chances? I give it a seven. Seven, huh? I give it a seven. It's the, it, it's it's close. I'm at a, I, I'm I really at think eight. It's close. I'm at an eight. I'm legit at, eight? at eight. Okay. If you would okay. if you would have do it out of hundred, I got them at an eight. I, I I do think that they they got a little bit of a chance to to take it to seven games for sure. To, to, to they got a chance. I still think you know if I have to put my money down now, I'm gonna be honest. I'll, I'll give it to the Lakers. But this is a part of me, I'm not going to lie, I'm hoping for an upset. This is feeling too anticlimactic for me. You know, it's like it went from being so suspenseful to so unsuspenseful. You know, we didn't have ball for a long time, and we were begging for the season. Then we got it, and, you know, things were flourishing. You know, unpredictable teams were shining. The Phoenix Suns were good in the bubble. Uh, yeah. Weird guys like T.J. Warren were, you know, doing good in the bubble. But then everybody got knocked out, and it's like everything is just so anticlimactic and predictable. You know, forgive me for wanting a little bit suspense. Yeah, I'm rooting for Miami, man. I, I want something thrilling to happen to cap off on, this man. really unpredictable, me too. predictable season. Me too. And, and, and people like Jimmy deserve rings to me. Because yeah, of the way they play, that's the way exactly, that they play. That's exactly the main reason why I'm rooting for them too. It's not. It's not just because of the predictability no, factor. Yeah, but this so many guys, on, mainly no. Jimmy, but, but there's so many guys on this team that I'm like, man, with their effort and their heart and, and what they bring to the game, I want to see them succeed. I want to see them win. You know, yeah. nobody thought this team would be here. Nobody believed in Jimmy Butler. They were saying. He was the problem. He was bullying the guys in the yeah. locker room. But look at him now. Look at look at all the hard work he, he put in to even get, earn a spot on the Bulls with Derrick Rose and, you know, go through what he yeah. went to Timbo Bulls in the last couple of years in Philadelphia. And, and now he's going to be in the first NBA Finals and has a chance. They were to trying win. to call him a team killer. Yeah. <laughs> They were trying to call him in the team killer boat, and, and, and I never believed that about him. Nah, I never believed that about. I never him. got that. Even, even, even though I didn't, even though I didn't call Miami to be this far, I never believed that about Jimmy. I always thought Jimmy was the type of dude who you want in your, in your locker room, who you want it has yet either one or two options. I always thought that about him. I just thought the other guys were softies, and they were soft. Guys like Cat, guys like Andrew Wiggins. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought those guys were just mentally too weak to be on I, the team with him. I, to be fair, I still really think those two are very talented, but I, I don't think they mesh well as teammates for Jimmy Butler. I really think Cat still has a lot of good you years. Could, but you could call you could call them soft. It's, it's, it's mentally soft. Nah, I, I, I'm not ready to call Cat soft. Maybe Wiggins. I, I'll give you Wiggins, but hey. They'll play a good role for the Warriors, I think, a, a, a little bit. But nah, it, it takes a you can't be you can't be lackadaisical and pay, play with a guy like Jimmy Butler. You don't like lackadaisical guys that are just like, who cares if I win or lose? He uh, wants you to yeah. just go hard and hustle hard and, and Let me go just hard get and numbers. play. And, and, and I really think that when it comes to hunger and sense of urgency. You know, I think perhaps that that's what the Heat has in their favor. I think Lakers are are the better team, but and have the two better duo. But I think you know Miami has the better depth. It has the more hunger and and probably more hustlers on their squad too. I believe that. I really do. Like with all the all the all the other dudes that you want on the team, I believe it's here. It's here in Miami, and that's that's why they're going so far. 
I really do believe that. Let me ask you, do you see a guy like, you know, we mentioned that it's going to be hard for the Lakers to find that third guy. And, and and obviously Rondo stepped up last series, but we're we're not betting on him to you know offensively provide that all the time. Yeah. Do you think a guy like Kyle Kuzma shines in his really? first finals? He's no, a he's a wild card. I think he's gonna be exactly how he's been this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he's been a lot quiet. He, he's been a little uh, up and down. I thought I really thought he would round out as that third scorer because he could score. <laughs> but if you look at all season long, that's how he's that's how he's been. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he hasn't really showed me nothing to to make me believe otherwise from him. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe the finals could give him that surge. But I'm not. I'm not. If I gotta expect it to happen, I'm. I'm not gonna expect that to happen, man. I think he's gonna be up and down like they always do, and it's gonna be all on LeBron and Anthony Davis to show for this, which could still possibly work. You know what I mean? Because we've seen it. We've seen things like that work before. You know when him and Kyrie will be scoring forty together. You know what I mean? We've seen things like that work before, but I. I don't think it's, it's gonna be Kyle Kuzma who's gonna do that. I think I, I think he's gonna surprise us. I really think he's gonna have yeah. a good series in, in the the finals because for one know. of the, one of the things I do think they're gonna need him because Miami's not a dumb, undisciplined team. They they're very very disciplined and don't make mad mistakes. So you're not gonna get by just strictly off being a two man team. To me, I mean those guys are still the best duo in the league right now. But you're gonna you gonna need to pull out some other tricks up your sleeves, and I think Kyle Kuzma could be that trick, and and maybe a guy like uh, Markeith Morris, if they could get him to a little bit of the rhythm, could get could give them some firepower too. I, I have faith in Kyle Kuzma, but I don't know if it's a foregone conclusion that the Lakers definitely win, like everybody thinks. I don't think so neither. I'm I'm with you on that, 100, percent 100. percent but I still don't think he'll step up to the plate, man. Like, where were you all season? No, no, no 16 points per game? That would be a big 16 points per game in the finals. <laughs> but where would, but the 16 should have been there already. It, it should have. But, you know, it, it's kind of like they haven't needed it in a weird way. So, oddly, they've been getting by without it. it They're going to need it now. They are going to no, need it. No, but but I'm just looking at it. I'm looking at at it from 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 his shoes. Like he should be that guy who wants to be that that third dude in that in getting credit with those dudes. And it seems like he hasn't wanted that. It, it, I don't know if you you see what I'm seeing, but it, it seems like he hasn't really wanted to step into that that type of place. I see it too. I, I expected more. You know, I, I expected more of a. Uh, aggressiveness especially he hasn't really you know caught any sort of real rhythm like he he tends to get in the playoffs so far but yeah i agree i, I but i i do think see him i think he's due for it you know unless unless the final shake him up you know and he gets a little nervous i do think he's due for a couple big games there ah <laughs> uh. In, in Miami's good defense, I I don't know. I, yeah, I don't yeah, it's gonna be tough. It's I gonna be know. so tough because they because they they like. I know he likes to to jack up a whole lot of shots. Yeah. And, and Miami likes to, and Miami's gonna get up in them. Not, yeah, they got vets. They don't got little boys. They got grown ass men. That, and they that close out on they close out on shooters so good. You know yeah. what I mean? We seen it with Milwaukee. We seeing it with the Celtics right now. Yeah, they they had Jason Tatum score this for the whole first half. I'm telling you, man, that boy, he he he's coming, but people need to pump the brakes a little with the Jason Tatum crowning. He's coming, but pump the brakes, man. <laughs> people, nah, he, he, he's an all star, you know what I mean? He's an all star, bona fide. But I still yeah. think he's. I, I think he's a. Little, I'm not really. Uh, you know, he's a bona fide all star for sure. 
Yeah, 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 I agree. All right, let us know in the comment section if you think Miami Heat has any chance in the NBA Finals against the Lakers, and subscribe to us on YouTube at Wrestling With Things. Damn, no phone,